All right, everyone. Welcome to part three of my Duck Hunt Ultimate Guide, and now we'll be going over Clay Pigeon Duck Hunt Side B move. Now, Clay Pigeon has a lot of applications. Um, the most important thing to note is that it comes out. Um, the hitbox starts at about frame 17. What really actually happens is uh, if we set Mario to neutral special. Oh, whoops. see there, we can actually get Clay Pigeon to come out on frame 1, Whoops. like that. So this is something to know about Clay Pigeon, uh, it should start around frame 15, 17, but if you're able to have um, Duck Hunt have his animation interrupted during his Clay Pigeon, usually you want to do this by eating a weak projectile, you can actually have hitbox on it start on frame one so that's something to know uh, another frame one move for duck hunt the most important thing to know about clay pigeon is all the combo applications it has this move has a ton of plus frames on it so the most reliable oh, whoops let me make sure that we're on yep the most reliable one at zero percent is usually just clay pigeon in it up smash So to understand something is uh, Clay Pigeon has two parts, the part where you throw it, and then, uh, so the initial throw hitbox and the explosion hitbox, um, at, uh, at the low percent, you actually, you, you usually actually want to pop it as soon as possible as it makes contact, because um, you don't want uh, your opponent to be able to get out in between the hits of it, but at higher percents, you actually want to hold um, the popping of it as long as possible to extend the amount of combo duration you have for it So in terms of just some simple things you can do you can pretty much do anything with it at the low percents uh, So pretty much keep in mind you can combo into pretty much whatever move you want except for um, Yeah, at the low percent you pretty much combo it into anything you want Except uh, you can't really combo F smash into it. F smash is a bit too slow. Uh, down smash is a bit tough. And things like there. Uh, hold on one sec. That's a bit higher percent. So you can combo it into dare. Oh, maybe a bit higher than that. So you can combo it into dare at a higher percent. Uh, down smash is possible, but it's pretty tough. Yep, down smash is a pretty tight window for it. And um, things like this into jab, this into down tilt, this into uh, this into F smash, pretty tough to do. Uh, you need to be you need to be doing it more on. Um, fast fallers to get those kinds of combos in that lower percents. But at the lower percents, there's pretty much two windows you want to be going down for this. Um, you want to be doing uh, Clay Pigeon and Up Smash for a lot of easy damage, or you want to be doing something a bit harder and you want to be going for Clay Pigeon into Up Tilt into Up Airs. Uh, again, this is all character dependent on who it works best on in different uh, percentages. But generally, um, Clay Pigeon and Up Smash will work on the entire cast at zero, and a bit trickier, but Clay Pigeon up to up there will do more damage. Also mentioned earlier, all the combos that were available with uh, Nair and Fares. Because of this, you can do some really cool things like, let's put Mario about 30%. You can do things like Clay Pigeon, Weak Nair, oops, oops. you can do things like a uh, clay pigeon. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, but some things like uh, clay pigeon into weak fair into um, dare are possible. Weak fair into uh, back airs. Oh, so weak fairs into fairs. So just all kinds of different creative combos you can do off of it. Generally, um, 
the most important lines is clay pigeon up so up air as shown earlier, clay pigeon up smash, um, clay pigeon, four, oh, whoops, clay pigeon, forward air grab, forward throw, forward air, as well as um, a bit high percent, the weak fares also have a lot of combo applications, so like clay pigeon, whoops, clay pigeon, weak fair, back air. Those are basically the, the main lines that you want to go down for your clay pigeons. Um, once you get to the higher percents, uh, not e actually more so the mid percents, you can start getting whoops, a quick blank range, clay pigeon, whoops, clay pigeon, into another clay pigeon. And this is where things start getting really crazy when the move starts comboing into itself. Because this is where you can get a lot of early kill confirms off that. So, things like that, um, the higher you, you go, a bit better, oh, whoops, that's actually it. Oh, but as you can see, um, there's combo applications for going pigeon, it's a second pigeon, into a kill confirm. So these are the things you can do by way of doing clay pigeon into clay pigeon. Uh, for the most part, you can get two on the entire cast. Uh, you can get three to four on specific characters, but keep in mind that um, the more you do this, the higher percent they go, and the higher percent they go, the more um, the more ways they'll be able to DI out of Clay Pigeon because of the higher percents. Generally, the three finishers you can do off of it is going to be your um, back air, your down air, or your up air. Not high enough for Mario. about 120% on hard DI out is when most people will be able to get out of combos, but at the lower percent, starting at 50 to 60 is when things can get really interesting. Um, even on some fastballers, you can get something crazy, like Clay Pigeon and the F Smash the True combo. Uh, not on Mario, more so fastballers, but you can do things like that. Uh, I mean, F Smash is a being bad. Uh, that's possible on characters like Fox. Different ideas you can do, um, definitely lots and lots of variations you can do off of different DI and different mix-ups. The most important thing to know is uh, you will find times when um, the second clay pigeon is impossible to do because it's short by a couple of frames, but because of that, the only option to get out at that point is to air dodge, and um, because of the easy conditioning you can do by having such a threatening combo, you can start reading a lot of directional air dodges or just regular air dodges with Duck Hunt and follow the air dodge with your clay pigeon. So even when the move doesn't true combo into itself, it can create, um, as long as you don't swing early with your uh, clay pigeon and experience all the cooldown it has, then you can uh, follow up dodges out of it into the combo again itself. So that's basically the main idea of clay pigeon. Um, it has a lot of combo applications. It can combo into pretty much anything. It can combo into itself. So, one of the most important things about Duck Hunt's combo tree is to find ways to combo into Clay Pigeon. Uh, one of the things that it also can do is, let's say you don't explode it. Let's say I run it like this. You can also use Clay Pigeon while in your shield to create a hitbox on top of yourself to protect yourself. This is uh, not really a thing. It's just something that uh, to keep in mind of that you can still explode clay pigeon like that. And then another thing to know about clay pigeon is if it doesn't come into contact with anything, then it takes three B buttons before it can explode, or you just have to wait a while until it can explode all at once. And the other thing is 
when you have clay pigeon out, you can't move the can because the gunman is focused on shooting the clay pigeon and not the can. So, uh, going back to something I mentioned earlier, uh, one of the optimal strings that you might end up going down in terms of your clay pigeon lines is clay pigeon, drag down, up air, up tilt. So, this is something that you can do. Oh, whoops. This is something you can do when getting the second clay pigeon is going to be really, really difficult on some characters. Oh. There we go. So, that's one of the main uh, lines you can take off of clay pigeon. You can do clay pigeon, drag down up air, up tilt to another up air as a kill confirm. Uh, this is where we start getting towards the more optimal lines in Duck Hunt. They're a lot harder to do, but that's one of the the more advanced applications you can do off of Clay Pigeon. Mainly though, um, it's a good idea that if you just land a Clay Pigeon, you just want to be going for your kill move around 100%. Uh, no idea to go... You, don't, you generally don't want to be going for your super hard extenders when you can just get a kill confirm like this. Keep in mind, you want to be delaying also your explosion for as long as possible so you can get as much time to run in. And uh, once you get towards the 120, 140%, uh, even at close range like this, your opponent will be able to DI out far enough so that they won't be able to be comboed off the clay pigeon. So the upper end of these combos kind of is about 110, 120. Uh, so that's mainly it for clay pigeon. Um, Keep in mind, you can make it start frame one if it trades, but if you're able to get your startup animation disrupted, um, it combos into pretty much about everything. Uh, it combos into a ton of kill confirms, but the most important thing to know is that it's very laggy, so the best thing to do with it is to find ways and moves to combo into your clay pigeon, because uh, just getting it raw is pretty hard to do on good players.